<laughs> the fuck? It's 3D. <laughs> All right. Everything Mud. Is go except it's bed. Ice dumpster. Mud country. Yeah, dipper. <laughs> Awkward silence. Oh no, my brother was born again. What? Oh shit. You want to tell us what's going on here? This is my 1990 Dodge W250 with a 360 in it, and it's a three-quarter ton. And I know why not to have a fucking 12 valve in the motherfucker. Shut up, Dodge Forums, you fuckers. Every goddamn one of y'all. <laughs> but I like my gas. And it's a 360. Had to rebuild it. Finally got it running. Mm. Bring it home. But everything else went to shit on it. Replaced it. Now the only thing's wrong with it is I need to fix my brake light sensor because I ain't got no brake lights. And then my gas leak because uh, show my gas tank. Ratchet straps. You can kind of see where the gas has been leaking out too. Oh yeah. I start the bitch up and you really see it. Oh, I have a kill switch. Alright, now look at the gas leak. Looks like someone pissed down the side of your gas tank. Yep. Just mm. stereotypical thing. Boop! You know, it's not gonna be fucking rough. Better than what some people have with a blown out clutch, not pointing fingers. Okay, let's get settlement. Let's go down here. I have demonetization. It's not gonna happen. And it's not like we make a whole shit ton on YouTube anywhere. What have we made on YouTube? Two cents? Two? Like 12. Oh, 12 cents. Wow, we're making the big bucks. <laughs> Still haven't seen that paycheck, YouTube. Yeah, what the fuck? That's 12 cents is give us a hell of a lot. Oh, distributor cab, which was what was wrong with it, why it wouldn't fucking start. <coughs> I found that out and no one believed me. <coughs> I have four of these back here. What? Yeah. I went looking for them all yesterday. Found out I had four of them back here. Who the fuck put this fruity after you making me happy back here? Okay, it's strawberry daiquiri. Who do you think? Probably Cody Howe. And Alex Howe. Which will cut this part out of the video. Okay, I said four. There we go. Alright. So here we have the Blade project for about, what, a year? Yeah. Well, it's not really a project, it's running. Ish. But, 
This is a 95 GMC Sierra half ton K1500 short bed extending cab 6.5 turbo diesel. Where's your Sierra logo though? <laughs> it may or may not have fallen off. And this, this old beauty, belongs right in there. But one day it decided to go, and I went to go do this, and I went, no! Hey, we get some awesome B roll footage, like off the yeah. zombie. <laughs> Truh! <laughs> <laughs> No, but in all seriousness, I watched, I could sleep last night, so I watched probably 50 of his videos in a row. Like no joke. This ain't a GMC anymore, it's a GM. The seat got rubbed off. <laughs> I love how they have to put GMC truck. <laughs> I couldn't tell. I thought this was SUV. No cab lights. <laughs> Hey, there's not a lot of blow by today. I love how 90% of that was dust from my gravel. <laughs> Shit, I should have done this. Start back up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, this is what me and Matt, Matt Dipper have been rolling around in for, what, about the last year, year and a half? Yeah. To a degree, probably more like eight, eight months. And this is what I was talking about earlier in the video. Oh my fuck. All our fishing gear. We've been doing everything from some good old catfish. You got that good old eight dot circle hook and that no real weight to my spinning rod with a top water bluegill on it, which I haven't caught anything on yet. And this is kind of my little pride and joy right now. It's a outdoor angler bait caster. It's cheap. It's like thirty dollars. And then this little froggy do here, I've caught like four or five fish on, like right after I bought it. But it is a seven foot medium white action pole, which is kind of nice. You get that sensitivity, but it's not as strong as this medium action, or I've even got, um, which these are all ugly sticks that I'm showing right now, the GX2 series, or they're not as my broke ass that's not it where is it right here which i broke it again because of my girlfriend's car my medium heavy gx2 I'm really the sad. lighting is terrible is the contrast way up you'll black me <laughs> really yeah. yes. broke the tip off the damn thing again it was a seven foot pole, now it's like a six something. <laughs> I fuck. Probably not even that. It's more like a five foot. Ah! Oop. Brand whore. Drop the pole. <laughs> this thing would be awesome at casting. I would lock my eyes off you guys out there and run that car. No. <laughs> you shall not pass. I feel like you get hit. Probably with the people around here. Squeaky, squeaky. I think that guy lives over by Napoli. But yeah, that's what we've been uh, playing with. Son of a bitch, it's all tangled up. Fuck. Alright. 
Hunter. Oh. And this is my pole. It's a lose. This was my old catfishing pole before our buddy Bass and Hayes let me borrow that one. But it's a lose, and lose didn't make a very good fishing pole for one. If I can get it out, no, nope. it broke right in here. This is a seven foot pole. Hold on, it broke where? There you go. It broke right in here the first time, and then we pulled because it's a two piece rod. Hey, look, it came out, but it broke right here. It's supposed to be like this tall. Well, the rest of it got stuck down in the tube, so we used a pair of needle nose, pulled that out. And then crane this back in here like shit. Like so. Show you how to take it from here. There you go. Then we thought we had it fixed. Then come to find out. <laughs> we cracked the cat. I cracked the cast aluminum right in here, which you can see it bulging out through the electrical tape. Yep. We use a lot of electrical tape and bailing wire, but I think it would be. I mean, I think it would be a decent pole if I got another reel for it. It's just not very sensitive. Like that makes me nervous. Like I could take my ugly sticks and do that and not really care, but. This pole makes me nervous. And the eyelids are crooked. Anyway. And then Bass and Hayes had one that he got off. Oh, here's my wall. I got an old Zebco 66 graphite pole. Uh, medium, actually. That purple spin reel, though. No, that was given to me. Which I think is kind of funny because that's Zebco, too. This is the one my girlfriend uses. As you can tell, still got a bobber on it. Huh? So as you can tell, still got bobber. Yeah. But, I will say this. I've gotten this pole in some pretty sticky situations, and it has not failed. Thank God. And it's still got whatever line was on that. But it came with a close face 33. Which got smoke. And then, you want to do your tackle? Hell no, I'd have to fucking take three trips. But we got all this. So I'm going to keep a can of Copenhagen, even though it's empty. Just in case we want to do some Tom fuckery. Yeah, I've used one of those empty cans as a bobber whenever I didn't have any. <laughs> this is what I started off with when I kind of got back into fishing with Mad Dipper and Bass and Hayes. I bought this on accident. I think this would make good leader line. I use that for my bridge bobbers. Yeah. And then I bought this thinking this is what they told me to get, and it was not. And it's not that good. It coils up really bad, and it just, it sucks. Got and some then, young dingers. Yeah. We got us some yum, some blue flake fire tail. Power baits, we love power bait. Sponsor us, please. And then our favorite it should be. Oh no, this is Red Shed. Where'd this come from? I think you bought that one. We went to the tackle box store in Robinson. <laughs> and then we got these. These, we, I've gotten some hits on these. These are 10 inch black shad power baits. Um, I like the coloring of them. If I can get one out real quick, I'll show you. But, here, my right here. They look really cool in the water. Um, that silver may look like it doesn't do much, but when you get it in the water, it actually glimmers really nicely. Um, I haven't caught anything on it yet, but I have gotten some hits. But if I can find them real quick, they're probably yep, they're in here. Good old faithful tequila sunrise. 
Mad Dipper turned me on to these and I've gotten a, I've gotten probably over I'd say by now over a dozen bass on these. Not big ones. They were dinks, but I mean I've gotten about that many. Um we got some crawls, some green pumpkin. Those actually work surprisingly well. I got told these wouldn't really do anything because bass don't much care for them because they still have the pinchers on them if you can see them. And then there's one right here that's kind of discolored. But if you get a small enough hook, which I don't really have any to fit these, but if you get a small enough hurt hook they work really well they're only a four inch i probably ought to get some hooks but like this is what i've been using for a texas rig setup and as you can see they just they just don't seem like you can stretch them out oh, i put that on backwards but anyway they just kind of stretch out way too much they don't seem to have that kind of straight and narrow to them. Once you get them on there, they're kind of stretched out. I mean, they they, they do sit straight, but way that you can ring them here, okay, camera. Some knowledge. So, crawls whenever they're sinking, they usually sink like this. So if you put a good weight on them, you can make them go upside down in the water to keep them straight and they do this and they, whenever you get them they get an action backwards oh, okay so probably something with a slip weight set up you can just rear hook them like that okay i'm gonna try that or you go opposite direction and hook them to the head or the pinchers are over here i see bass whenever they eat crawls and bluegill and shit or well crawfish at least they hit from the back because the claws, whenever an actual crawfish is in the water, the claws will stick up like this. It's hard to do it with flimsy ass fucking pinchers. But they stick up like this in defense mode, and that's what turns bass away. Whereas if they're just kind of down, or if they're flowing down, bass come up from the bottom, and hit them, and you can set the hook. But, um, where is it like bluegill and shit? They usually attack from the head because of the spines that come up. My Country 96 with my Dipper 96. We're out here trying to catch some carp. We got bluegill and stuff. We're using bread to kind of bait them in. And uh, got Mad Dipper, me, and we got Buddy Zach. We're trying to come out here and kind of get some of these carp and kind of thin out the population a little bit because they've overtaken this pond. I went one right there. But hopefully, we can get some fish for you today. But right now, huh? Yeah, get it on video too. Let me zoom out. <laughs> okay, so what I learned, let's just take this and kind of wrap it up here around that. And it'll break off. And just keep wrapping, patting it down. Lay the hook a little bit exposed. Not too much though, because I've learned these motherfuckers are finicky and they know which one has a fucking hook on it. Take this part. I smash it down there. More than likely, it will fly off. But the shit around my hook will stay. And I kind of make it kind of like a fish. <laughs> but the reason why is because the bread that I haven't smushed floats. Or their carp will come up and suck it down. And whenever they get it all in there, you'll just see the lines just start going this way. And you reel in. You don't set the hook. You just just look. Right. So do you leave your bail open? No. No. I just leave it loose. I don't reel in slack or anything. Mm. But, right. mm -hmm. oh. I got that down. Let's see you throw up the first cast. Oh, we got one hitting right there. 
be on that bush. There's some right. Right, right in there. There is a big bluegill down there. I don't know if I can pick them up on the camera or not. There's a big Look. three of them out there. Yeah. Oh, I can see him on the camera. Look at this, Zach. See him? Mm -hmm. Four of them. Look at that big yeah, one there's out one. there. Yeah, there he is. See him on the camera? Only if we could throw out there to him. Those dudes are huge. I'm trying to throw out towards him. With the bread. I'm trying to lure him over here. One just took a big chunk of bread. Look at them. What is that? They don't look like carp. They do. Oh, yeah. Huge. Look at all of them. That must be. Watch that bird chunk that flew closer to them. That is the biggest corp I've ever seen. Look. There's bigger ones. I know where bigger ones are. That one's cruising. Watch. There's one right there. You just hit it. You're going to work this. Dude, I caught him on camera doing that. Mmm. They're starting to come in now. It takes a shit ton of bread to do this. Look, 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 look. He's cruising. That's a big old bluegill. My God. Hopefully we catch some of those. We can use them for the channels. Dude, it's so weird they're like that. Right there. Hmm. Where? Right there. Oh shit. Matthew, there's one right here just cruising. Hmm. Right in there. You threw it right in front of him. He's I think he's going after it. There's a big one out there. Alright. You can see right there at the end of my finger is Matthew's chunk of bread. And then right there is a bunch of bluegill. Oh, I didn't catch that. Dude, look at them. Look, they're going towards your big chunks. Well, they picked. There, I got that one. But anyway, if you can see, little bastard, right, right in here, there's big old school. Bloop, Matthew just hit the backside of it. They're starting to swim that way, but. Yeah. This guy over here decided it'd be a good idea to swallow the hook to his ass. So now he's dead. Pretty sure he's full of blood. But he 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 shall not go to waste. My dipper's like, fuck you. I'm a bush. I'ma catch me some bluegill and crappy. Oh shit, I just gave away a secret bait. 
Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, we got bubbles. Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. Come on, Mad Dipper. Get your fish. Get your fish. Get your fish. <laughs> Wizard. I bet nobody remembers that. What? The AT&T, Verizon, and uh, U.S. Cellular commercial. Mm. Oh, yeah? Wizard. All right. So fuel filled up, Copenhagen in a damn black coffee in a cup, six string in a back, 30 30 in the glass. And if you don't like that, you can kiss my country. Ass fence right in some boot cut, dark blues going way out where them boys make this through. Playing with some Tanner right bonfire in a fall night, full wheel spinning till the drive shaft falls out. Let me get a hell yeah, let me get a hell nah. Guns gonna stay, rebel flag on the front porch, support it if it's us, red, white to the old blue. Three squad shit, running around with no tennis shoes, spitting that fire. Like I got a whiskey rhythm I've been hiding in the woods Now I'm coming just to kill him Yeah, these boys better duck Cause I'm building